Hey guys, Luke C here with TFB TV. We're back here at TriggerCon 2024 in Wichita, Kansas. I'm here with Everett from Kimber Firearms to talk about the new Mako Carbon, Carbon Compact. Compact. That's right. All right, so, so real quick, uh, let's reel back. The original Mako was uh, your guys' entry into the Micro Compact 9mm world, 14 rounds total capacity, right? 15, yes. 15 rounds total capacity, okay. So 14 rounds in the mag. Yep. Cool, so what's the Carbon Compact has had what change to it? So the Carbon Compact is new this year. First and foremost is that it's got a 20% carbon matrix infusion. Carbon matrix infusion into the polymer grip. So it's I, not, I have no idea what carbon matrix means. So, so <laughs> carbon fiber. So everybody loves carbon fiber in the okay. race cars, lightweight, very durable. So what we've done is we've actually infused that into the mold of this frame. And what it's done is it's increased the overall strength and tensile strength of the frame by 20,000 PSI. So you can basically step on this, unlike any of the other polymer frames, and you're not going to damage it. Okay, so real strong polymer frame. Incredibly strong. Is it still lightweight, though? Very much so. Okay. So you don't sacrifice any of the weight, but you have all the strength, more so than any other striker fire gun on the market. Okay. And then uh, I think you guys have also added, like, there's a whole bunch of small little changes, like, not like they're not demonstrated on this model, but people will see on screen. You bet. So when you're familiar with the Legacy R7, it's still got the tremendous uh, performance carry trigger characteristics that a lot of folks love. It's around a four and a half pound trigger. But then uh, what Kimber has been known for is creating aftermarket features in production guns, and we've done that with the polymer frame here. Right. So a lot of folks are always looking for uh, aftermarket guys to come in and bring in a really high undercut to really give you a lot better grip and ergonomic feel. Yep. Also, we've got an inset, what they've called gas pedals, for a placement for thumbs forward shooters. Yeah. So that has really been something that a lot of folks have asked for. And then also some placement down here with some textures for folks who have different grip styles. Right. And then finally, we put the interchangeable back straps, which are kind of commonplace on other guns, yeah. but not so much on the Legacy R7. And then finally, we have a really nice magwell for folks who are looking for speed reloads, especially for concealed carry. Right. So like while this is a like a primarily concealed carry focused gun, you guys have added sort of like in uh, like competition, what I would call competition features that make it way more shootable, right? Well, yeah, very much so. I mean, again, Kimber is known for producing production guns with a lot of the custom features that folks are doing aftermarket. So now, in a roughly between seven eight hundred dollar MSRP on the street for the base model, you'll get all the features that you're looking for at a custom shop built right in the gun. Right, and you guys also offer kind of like this is the a la carte version, but you can have featured versions like yeah. bought, like featured SKUs on the website that come with optics, you bet. threaded barrels, stuff like that? Correct. So there is a TFS model, so threaded for suppression, and there's also models that come with a Holosun optic installed already. Okay. And then uh, you just mentioned suppression. Uh, that seems like a focus for you guys. Did you have any weight limits on suppressors or anything like that? No. So the testing, we try to go through uh, a number of the common suppressors out there, Silencer Co., Dead Air, uh, Rugged. And uh, all of our uh, suppressors for 9mm go with the standard thread pitch, which I believe is a 1.5 by 28. Uh, and we have models uh, that are going to be available at the range day for folks to come out and test drive tomorrow. That's actually really good suppressor. For the Carbon Compact, the you said seven to $800 MSRP. What standard features come on that? So th that's the one that you see right here. The ones that are going to be a little bit more expensive are going to be around $1,000, but those are the ones that come with threaded barrel and Holosun optics. Okay. And then uh, like night sights are standard, optic yes. mount is standard? Correct. Yep. Optic mount is standard here. So you have a, a direct mount optic, so there is no plate mechanism with the cool. R7s. You just go straight into the frame. Yeah. And tritium night sights come standard. And what's the, uh, the footprint there? Uh, this will be kind of your RMSC or Holosuns right now. It does okay. not fit any of the Trichicons. Awesome. Well, Everett, thank you so much for uh, showing us the new Carbon Compact. We'll be sure to check it out at Range Day tomorrow. You guys stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. You bet, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. And uh, guys, thanks for tuning in to TFP TV Showtime. Stay tuned for more from TriggerCon 2024.